Hi guys. Ooh. So, I am going to be filming a video on transplanting zucchini today. This is one of my cold frames here. Can you can you see my hand? I'm filming with a tripod today. The film will be stable. Yes. But I'm still trying to get used to this because I actually had to jerry rig my iPod to a tripod that I found. It's held on with a rubber band. I'm rednecking this completely. But anyway, today, now I know I said I would show you guys what I have growing in these cold frames, but I actually decided that I'm just going to show you guys as I'm pulling them out to transplant. So in this one here, I've obviously got a ton of um, zucchinis over here. Bunch of zucchinis over there. They're um, early pick gold zucchinis, I believe they're called. Is that in frame? I hope so. They're early pick gold zucchinis, and they are ready to come out of these cups because you don't want them to get too big. Squash, squash plants like zucchinis don't really like the roots disturbed, so I don't want them to get too big. I don't want them to get root bound. Root bound. So I'm transplanting them all. And in my other cold frame over there, in my other cold frame over there, I've got um, more zucchinis that I'll be transplanting out. I've got another one right in here. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. Right over here. This guy right here. That's a four-toed zucchini, but he's not big enough to transplant yet, so I won't be doing him. But I've got nine early pick gold zucchinis. And, uh, and in this one, I've got a couple of more. I've got um, golden zucchinis, which are more of a yellow color. The ones over in this cold frame. Where's my hand? There it is. The one over in this cold frame are... Uh, a much gold, a much more gold color. Those ones are more of a yellow. And then I've got four hook zucchinis in here, which are a green. And I will be, but it doesn't matter what color zucchini you're doing, I'm just showing you guys how to transplant them. All right, so let's go do that. Okay, so you remember where the peas were planted, where we did those? I'm actually just going to be moving just next door to this little oddly shaped little bit here where I'm going to be planting my zucchinis. So, uh, just wanted to give you like a little view of the bed and like in relation to where my peas were and uh, I'm going to set up my iPod and, uh, well, start transplanting. All right, and here is where we are going to be planting one of my zucchini plants. This is the early pink gold one I showed you. I laid them out in bed where I wanted to plant. And it's really not that tricky to transplant them. So what you're first going to do is you're going to decide where they're going to go. I'm going to put it here. And I'm just going to scrape back all this mulch that I laid down. And there's cardboard under here because I did sheet mulching. Because I had a weed problem last year. So I put down a bunch of like cardboard and I mulched over it to kill off all the weeds. Ooh, look at a worm. And that's how you know your soil's healthy. Earthworms. Right off the bat. Look at how wiggly he is. We're just going to put him back. And now, because this soil doesn't receive, hasn't received a lot of amendments, I'm just going to do a bit of amending. As soon as I've dug it down a bit, I'm going to dig it down about the depth of the container that you're planting in. Planting from, I mean transplanting from. So, dig a healthy hole, and that's about perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to add in a good handful of compost that I made up myself. Just kind of toss that right in there. And I'm also, because the soil does not have very good nutrient levels, I'm also going to add in and a um an all and like an all-purpose organic fertilizer. I'm using this. Uh, it's called Tyfecta Plus. I get it. I I use it because um I'm using it this year because another two YouTubers that I watch all the time, one of them sells this and the other one swears by it. They both kind of swear by it. Um. They're Mi Gardener, Mi Gardener. Um and Kim 29 I'll put links to their channels down below. Was that all in frame? Probably. 
So I'm just gonna, and now they say to do like between two and three tablespoons for squash plants. So I'm just gonna scoop a couple of tablespoons of this right in that bowl. Set that off to the side. And then you're gonna come in and you're just gonna mix it all up. You know, get it good and mixed. And then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your squash plant, you're gonna put it, you're gonna take it, you're gonna slide your fingers around the stem like that because you don't wanna pull it out by the stem. Do not hold it by the stem. You're gonna tilt it upside down, squeeze the cup a bit, and look at that. Look at those roots. Now, this is a bit late. It is getting a little root bound. So I'm just gonna like very gently tease those apart. So I don't want them doing that. Now you're just gonna take it, and you're gonna plop it in the hole. Just like that. And then you're gonna take the soil that you dug out, and you're just gonna move it all back in. Get it back down there, move the mulch back around it. And voila, it's transplanted. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a nice watering in. A nice deep watering to get down to those roots. And water in all that compost and fertilizer. And there we go. Now it is still getting pretty cold at night here. Um, like lower 40s, and zucchinis really don't like those temperatures, but since it's been in an outdoor cold frame this entire time, even at night, even when it gets down to like mid 30s, lower 30s, I think it's gonna be okay, but just in case when it gets down tonight, I'll just take a bucket and plop it over this plant and take it off in the morning. And this zucchini will be fine. And there you have it, and that's how you plant as you, that's how you transplant a zucchini plant you started from seed. Now, I'm also going to show you how to do one other thing. And that is how to separate out, how to separate the seedlings when you have two of them, like this one here, growing in the same pot. Now, most people would have snipped off this littler one and only kept this bigger one. I don't do that because... Frankly, it's not needed. Now people, now some people will tell you that you really can't do this with squash and zucchini, but that's completely wrong. But it's completely wrong. They say that when you have multiple, you really can't separate them because it'll damage the roots. Well, with all these easy pick gold ones here, like the one that I just transplanted, I bought these as a, as a plant start at um, my local Walmart garden center. And there were nine of them in a single pot, nine. And I separated them all out and transplanted them each individually into these cups and every single one of them lived. So it's totally doable. What you're gonna do... What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it... Gonna, is that in frame? I hope it is. You're gonna take your little zucchini... Can you see my leg that whole time? Hello leg. You're gonna take it. Well, first, let me just pop out the uh, plant tag here that I used. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put my fingers around the stems like I did last time, around both stems. I'm gonna tilt it upside down. Oh, and you can also see the roots sticking up out of the bottom here. Is that in frame? God, I hope it is. I'm just gonna lightly tap until it just kind of falls right on out. Oh, yep, yep. Those were definitely in there for too long. See all those roots? Those are definitely getting root bound, but they are okay. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it, is you're actually going to just pull off the soil. Just kind of gently tease the soil off away from the stems. And look at that. They're already separating into two separate plants. Now, when I had all nine of them together, it was a solid mass of roots. There was no way that just gently pulling like this would have worked. 
So what I did is I actually filled up a container full of water and I dunked the whole root ball in it and all the soil just kind of washed off the roots and I was very easily able to just tease them all right apart. Now the plants will get floppy during this. You see how they're just kind of flopping around and loose. Totally fine. And voila! Two separate zucchini seedlings. Alright, so I'm just going to take them. I really hope that's all in frame. Jesus. Most of it probably wasn't. You'll have to forgive me. I'm actually going to move this back ever so slightly. Okay. Okay, so, where's my shovel? So I'm going to plant one of them right here. So I just got to scrape back that mulch again. Is that in frame? It is, good. Scrape back all that mulch. Peel up that cardboard. Get that out of the way. Ooh, look, another earthworm. Oh my gosh, guys, it happened again. I ran out of memory partway through part of the video. All right, so. I've dug another hole. I filled it with compost. I put the, the fertilizer, the trifecta in. Just like we did in the other one. All right, so what you're gonna do, mix it up just like standard. You're gonna take a finger, just gonna make a little divot, little divot, little divot. Because that's what these guys are gonna, is that in frame? That's what these guys are gonna go into. All these roots. This so what you're gonna do. You're gonna take them, pop them in the hole, and then, just like before, you are going to exhale. Get them right snugly down in there. Get it in there. Spread the mulch back around them. Press it down lightly to make sure he's in there. And voila, there you go. And you are done. And that's it. That's really all you got to do. So, I guess I will finish planting out my zucchini. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.